Hello everyone. So today I was looking at this uh, question on the community about uh, delaying creation of sub task in automation. Now this uh, is uh, interesting. Now let me let me uh, read the question or the or some part of the question here. So this question has been asked by Olaf Nyston or Nyston and what what uh, this user is trying to do with automation. Uh, Using automation tools, you can automatically create a subtask, which is great. And uh, you want to do it for a variety of reasons. Maybe you want to do your uh, onboarding and whenever you do something like maybe a transition, you want to create those subtasks for maybe different people who are responsible for maybe doing their bits, their bit of thing. Now, the thing is, in this question, what uh, this user is trying to do is uh, trying to create a subtask not when the automation rule is run but basically when uh, let us say some date is passed maybe uh, in this example by the way he, he or she uh, I guess he is trying to basically create a subtask after a week of uh, employee joining date now if you're using automation uh, you have let us say a, a transition where you do something when the transition happens and basically in your automation rule you can uh, basically define uh, the action but i believe uh, you can in this particular case especially in this case here you can actually use a scheduler so let me show you let me uh, share uh, a rule that can probably be used uh, in this particular case and it is of course not very complicated so the good thing about automation rule is that there is a scheduler and uh, you can actually I can probably create a new scheduler here if uh, if I can. And before I do that, I will also open uh, maybe my JQL. I just want to show you one JQL. So basically, in using scheduler, you can actually run a JQL to look for issues that have been uh, that that have been created maybe for a for, for 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 like maybe one week ago or maybe two weeks ago. So basically, based on a date, you can do something. So let me just uh, find a date. I think uh, I have this particular uh, this particular uh, field which I think I can probably use. So let us say you have a date field and this date field could be any field by the way. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to identify some use some some issues based on uh, based on this date field. So let me just see this. Okay, so this is a valid JQL and basically this JQL will return and will give me issues with baseline start date uh, that is in the past three weeks. And I can also validate this if I can maybe show you this particular field in the in the um, result here. So we can see here that we have baseline start date which is in um, in the month of August and uh, basically in the last uh, three weeks and of course you know whenever you run this JQL it will check for baseline start date in the last three weeks from that particular uh, date so right now this date is today's date so basically when I'm running this today but when you do it from the scheduler it will basically look for uh, the same thing so let us go back to the automation rule and uh, what we will do we will try to create a rule based on this and uh, this should not be a difficult thing to do and i think I'll, I'll probably show you very quickly how to do it so let us create a new rule and uh, what i can do is uh, maybe use a scheduler here and you can say that you want to run it maybe every week on monday or tuesday whatever you want save it and then I'll probably get rid of my face or maybe I'll move it okay this, this is fine okay so what we'll do we'll, pro we'll probably create a, a branch rule and use uh, jql here we can type in the jql that we just wrote and uh, what will happen now in this particular case we want to do something and that something can be let us say create uh, not clone create a subtask so 
so let us do this sub task and uh, come on come on it's a bit slow yes sub task one maybe one more sub task two maybe maybe two more <laughs> okay three and uh, four so we have you create sub task every week scheduler and i will make sure that this particular rule is only create sub task every week using a scheduler and i want to maybe just focus it or limit it to one project because i don't really want to <coughs> cross my limit and i think this is fine and maybe we can run it because why not and uh, let us take a look at the scheduler i think it is running and uh, it will probably create sub task so these are the two issues if you remember and uh, if you look at both of them hopefully you will have four set of four sub tasks in in both of them so yeah we have the sub task here and we also have a sub task hopefully here as well yep we have we have this rule which is working and this will of course work every week and of course you can i mean my recommendation is to also add a bit more checks and limit your rule to a project or and, and maybe add some more conditions so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you thank you very much bye bye